So the next topic I want to talk about in PHP is associative arrays and the for each loop. Now I've got a simple array here with just a series of names and I'm going to do a for each loop with this array. So I'm going to loop through this array and what I want to do is I want to write out each one of these values. So the syntax for the for each array is you put the name of the array, so here's the variable for the array, then the keyword as, and then some sort of holder variable. This can be anything at all. So it is the value, or I could say the name, or anything I want. Then for each one of these, I'm going to echo out that variable name. So that should give me Rob, Bob, Robert, Bobby, Mr. Paulson. And I'm going to just tack on a carriage return here, a line break, just to make it easier. And there we are. So this is a simple array written out with a for each loop. Now an associative array in PHP is very much like an object in JavaScript. If you've ever worked with JavaScript, um, you're creating labels for each one of these. So my associative array, I can do the same sort of thing. I can list off a bunch of values, but I need to have a key for each one. So the way that we write this is um, we're going to say this is my key, and then the value is this. This is the name, this is the value, this is the key, this is the value, this is the index, this is the value. And put another one in here, we'll say Ed, and third one in here. Okay. Now, if I change this, so I'm just going to comment this out. Just to leave it in there for our future reference. I will uh, post this as a GitHub gist so you can look at it later. So we're doing the same thing, writing out the variable followed by a line break. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> this should be the keyword as here. There we are. So the value, the value, the value. So those are the three values. Now we can also get access to the indices. So the keys, if you will. And this is where I need to have the arrow. And I'm going to write out the key. There we are. So here's the keys. Here's the values for Brad, Ed, Helena. Those are the three keys. And the three values, the three names, Tyler, the narrator, Marla Singer. Just like that. Now, with a simple array, if it's just got values inside of it like this, we can do the same thing here. So there's our key, and there's the value. There we are. And these are the values that you automatically get. So if you haven't provided keys, this is the way arrays work in general in PHP. If you don't provide a key, it automatically assigns numerical ones. Even if you had um, partway through, if you had added a numerical one. So let's say that I came in here between Ed and Helena, and I added one with the key five. There it is. So I can add numerical ones in here. And then if I were to add something to the array afterwards, so I want to add something to this associative array, and I'm not providing a key. So if I don't provide a key, it's going to automatically do numeric. And this will be the highest number, so it'll go to number 6. And. 
there we are. So number six follows on like this. If this was some other number, like 88, this becomes 89. And the for each loop allows us to get at both the keys and the values. If you only put one, all you're going to get is just the value, the name, whatever comes second here. So I'll comment that out just to have the two different versions here. all that with just an M. Oh, here I'll comment this out. And NM is all we're going to be writing out. There we are. So there's the values from our simple array being written out. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps you out. That is simple arrays, associative arrays, and the for each loop in PHP. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.